Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make Rice Krispie Treats. However, we're not just going to make a regular Rice Krispie Treat, we're going to make them in the shape of my favorite summer fruit, watermelon. So what you're going to need are Rice Krispies, mini marshmallows, chocolate chips, you're going to need red and green food coloring, you're going to need one and a half tablespoons of butter, and two tablespoons of butter, you're going to need cooking spray, you're going to need two bowls that are microwave safe, a spatula, a cup and a half cup measuring cup, and then you're going to need a round cooking tin. And I put some parchment paper at the bottom so that my Rice Krispie Treat is easier to get out. You don't have to do this, but I find it makes it a lot easier. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our green part of the watermelon ready to go. And so we're going to take one of my microwave bowls and I'm going to put in the one and a half tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to put in two and a half cups of mini marshmallows. And then I'm going to pop this in the microwave for about 20 seconds at a time and then every 20 seconds I'm going to take it out and just mix it a bit with my spatula. Now I'm going to add some green food coloring into my melted marshmallows and butter and as you can see it's nice and smooth which is the consistency you want. And you might need to add more food coloring depending on how bright you want your green to be. And then once it's nice and mixed in and nice and green, I'm going to add two cups of Rice Krispie Treats. Now I'm going to start by adding in one cup and mixing that in and then I will add the second cup. So once I've coated my Rice Krispie Treats in the green marshmallow mixture, I'm going to spray my cooking pan. So that it's all nice and coated. And I'm going to add in the green and I'm going to be pressing it all around the edges. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your Rice Krispie Treats are slightly cooled so that you don't burn your hands. So I'm gonna add that to the tray. And I'm actually going to be spraying my hands with my cooking spray so that it doesn't stick to my hands as I mold it to the tray. And if it starts to stick, add a little more cooking spray. So now I have the outside of my watermelon and it's time to get ready to do the center part. For the center part of our watermelon, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to add in three and a half cups of mini marshmallows. And I'm going to pop this in the microwave for 20 seconds and then check on it and mix it and then do that until it's melted and nice and smooth. So now I have my butter and marshmallows nice and melted. I'm going to add in red food coloring this time for the middle. And 
And then I'm going to add in three cups of Rice Krispie Treats. However, I'm only going to add in one cup at a time and then mix them in. So now I have my Rice Krispies all mixed in and we're going to add it to the center of our cooking tin. And once again, I'm going to be spraying my hands with my cooking spray so that the Rice Krispie treats don't stick to my hands. Now this next part is optional, but if you really want to get your Rice Krispie Treat nice and flat all the way across, you can just take a piece of parchment paper, put it over the top, and gently press down so you can flatten your Rice Krispie Treat. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your chocolate chips, and they're going to look like the seeds in a watermelon, and you're going to gently press them into the red part of your watermelon Rice Krispie Treat. And then you're going to let your Rice Krispie Treats sit and cool and set. And then when you're all done, you'll be able to take it out of the pan, cut it into some slices, and enjoy your watermelon Rice Krispie Treats.